Hey guys, my name is Brent. Welcome to Glen Avon Growing by Glen Avon Hydroponics. Today we're here to talk about cloning. We're going to cover four parts. We're going to cover water, lighting, mothers, and taking the perfect cut. Okay guys, we've got two different types of lights that we can use for cloning. We've got our fluorescence, and fluorescent lights should be about 6 to 12 inches above the plant. They emit low heat, so you've got more of a margin. Then we've got our 400 watt metal halite. Now these lights emit a lot more heat, so they're going to need to be about 4 to 6 feet above the plants. We're not trying to rapidly grow the plants. All we're trying to do is encourage the vegetative growth and encourage the root growth. Hey guys, to start off we're going to talk about the water and propagation solutions you can use to condition your rock wall cubes. To start off with, you could use a bucket of water, which has been conditioned to a pH of 5.5 to 6. We personally use 5.5. Uh, Simply take your rock wall cube, drop it into your bucket of water, allow that to soak for about 15 minutes so the rock wall can absorb all of this pH solution that you've got there. After 15 minutes, pull it out like so. Give it a little bit of a squeeze. Make sure it's still quite damp. And just slip it straight into your tray. Also guys, there's a lot of propagation solutions available on the market. Starting off with Clonex here. This is uh, a solution that you would dilute down to five mils to the gallon. And uh, basically that's gonna pH your rock wall for you. Um, you allow those to soak just like we did there for 15 minutes or so. Give them a squeeze out and put them into your rock wall tray. Also there's a product called Dutch Masters APS, which is actually ready to go straight out of the bottle. You can do the same sort of thing. Soak your rock wall cubes for about 15 minutes, give them a light squeeze out. And once again, they're conditioned to 5.5 and ready to go. You can also foliar spray your babies. Because they don't have any roots, you can deliver the nutrition straight into their leaves, which is going to encourage more vegetative growth and get those roots pumping out. We've got Vitagrow Vita Concentrate here, which is diluted at seven parts water, one part Vitagrow. You can also use Dutch Masters APS to foliar spray straight out of the bottle. That's the basics for watering, guys. Next segment up is mothering. Welcome to mothering. To start off with, you can take a clone from a plant that's any age, but we think two months is a pretty good basis. Taking clones from plants that are younger than that result in slower growth rates, uh, smaller yields, and they can be more prone to diseases. Okay, so you've got to make sure your mother is nice, bright, vibrant, and healthy. All right, you can take clones from flowering plants. They will root faster, but you're looking at a month turnaround for them to go from flowering back to vegetative, okay? There's different products available on the market to aid mothering, such as these products here, Mother Plant. They actually have a lower amount of nitrogen, so when you do take your clones, they'll actually root faster. Also, when you've just taken a bunch of clones from your mother, she can be looking a little bit dull, missing all her foliage, you can use products like Liquid Light, and that'll actually help regenerate all of the shoots. Um, you get a much faster turnaround, so if you need to take another cut, a bunch of cuts again in a few weeks, they'll be ready to go. Also guys, remember when you are about to take clones from your mothers, give your plants a spray with water for about a week before, and what that's actually gonna do is leach the amount of nitrogen that's actually built up in the plant, therefore your clones will root faster. And now we're gonna move on to taking the perfect cut. Hey guys, now it's time to make the perfect cut. Like we talked about in mothering, we've been spraying our plant with pure water for the past week, so we've leached out all of the nitrogen that's built up in there, so our clones are gonna root faster. What we've got here is the preparation we're gonna need. We've got a sterile scalpel, some scissors, a cup of water for taking multiple cuts, a sterile shot glass full of Clonex solution or whatever propagating gel you choose to use. And we've also just got a little utensil here, which what we do is actually dip into the Clonex, like so, and we actually poke our own hole into the rock wall. So that way, when I take my cut, if I don't get quite enough Clonex solution onto it, my hole's already propagated with enough Clonex to make it root. Now we're gonna move on over and take our first cut. All right guys, we've got our sterile razor blade. Now we're gonna pop over here. We've got a nice two leaf cut to take. 
We're going to take that on a 45 degree angle in our tomato plant. We're going to slip it off. Over here in our tomato plant, we've taken a cut on a 45 degree angle. What we're actually going to do is just cut the plant a little bit and we're just going to trim off this leaf surface that's here. The reason that we're doing that is that this is going to be growing in 100% humidity. Okay, so there's more chance of powdered mildew being able to form on these leaves here. So we're minimizing that and we're also maximizing the amount of light penetration that the clones are going to be able to get. So we just simply give it a little snip like this. Now if I was taking multiple cuts, I'd drop it into the water like so and then I'd continue cutting. Okay, because I'm not taking multiple cuts, I can just literally pick it up, make sure you take a cut about a centimeter above your original cut, dip it into our cloning gel, and straight into our rock wool. Now we've taken our perfect cut, let's just run down what we've got over here. We've got our humidity dome, we've got our T5 fluorescent light, which is about eight inches above our cuttings, we've got our propagation tray with our rock wool cubes and our cuts, and we've also got our heating mat. What we're firstly gonna do is give our little cuttings a spray with our Vitagro solution. What we're gonna do is dilute that down at seven parts water to one part Vitagro. And we're just gonna give our plants a nice light misting like so. Okay, what we're then gonna do is pop our humidity dome over the top. Okay, and switch our light on. Now remember guys, we want the humidity to be at 100% for the first two days, okay? So these are gonna be closed up. Over the next two days, we're gonna want that humidity to come down to about 80%. So we're slowly gonna open up these little holes here to allow some of that humidity to escape. Now you want your air temperature to be about 70 to 75 in the room, okay? And we also want the medium to be about five degrees warmer than that. And that's where our heat mat comes into play like this one we've got here. Simply slide this under, plug it in, and we're cloning. <clears throat> so today guys, we covered the basics of cloning. We've covered lighting, we've covered water, we've covered mothers, and we've covered taking the perfect cut. All the products we use today and you've seen are available at glenavonhydro.com, or you can purchase them directly from the store at Glenavon Hydroponics. Feel free to give Brendan a call at the store at 951-685-GROW. Thanks for watching Glen Avon Growing. Peace.